Hey folks, E.T. here down in Fukuoka. I just thought I'd do a little apartment tour. This is a uh, 2DK. And uh, one thing you got to know about moving into an apartment in Japan is usually there's nothing. There's, there's no stove. There's no lights. Usually no air conditioning. If you're lucky, there's one left over. But uh, pretty much, well, the bathroom light usually works. But there's no hanging lights or, or, or anything. No washing machine. So you pretty much got to furnish the whole thing. It's usually you don't have uh, any furnishings whatsoever. And this this apartment here has a little unit bath with a really micro-sized bathtub. So any anybody that's taller than 5'5 five, five or 5'6 five, is going to have some issues trying to get in that bathtub. But, you know, you can sit on the side and use the, the shower thing. So no big deal. This one has some uh, cabinets built in. And uh, actually, this is the same apartment that I live in. I live in another unit at uh, uh, on the first floor. And the reason why we didn't actually choose this unit is because when you have a, a, a child who's five years old or three years old when we first moved in, they do a lot of jumping and bouncing. So we didn't want to uh, disturb the neighbors below. So we decided it's best if we're on the on the ground level. So any jumping and bouncing around will resonate through the ground and not through someone's roof but yeah anyways just taking a walk around here um my father-in-law actually owns this this building and, and several other buildings yeah, but i don't even know how many buildings but enough so i had the key and we're airing it out, airing it out for a future potential uh resident i guess you could call it uh so pretty cool i mean no air conditioning you can see the the plugs there waiting and a uh, little vent thing there. And, and that's where you would plug in your ceiling light, which no apartments come with, which is kind of strange. The closet there is it's pretty decent size. It'll fit, you know, um, a single person or possibly two people's worth of worth of clothes and stuff, as long as they're they're not, you know, a collector of fashion, I guess you could say. But yeah, pretty pretty cool apartment. This one's about um, Yomanen, Yoman Gohakuen with no parking. Probably uh, another three to five thousand for the parking. But yeah, pretty it's decent size. When I first saw it, I thought it was way too small. But after we've lived in it for a while, it's not that bad. Of course, I'd like to have a bigger size apartment. But the good thing is, it's really easy to and quick to vacuum and clean. So. But I, if if I were gonna live in here, if I were gonna recommend who should live in here, this is definitely should be for a single person. And for a single person, this is a really nice size apartment. But for two and a kid, it's a little tight. But hey, uh, I don't have to pay rent, so I don't complain one bit.